One of the most powerful, but also scariest features of the LED Strip Studio is the ability to create your own color effects. I hope to make it less scary in this video. As you can see, I have here a simple workspace where I'm using just one uh, LED segment and I have it connected uh, to a reactivo device or Wi-Fi and uh, here is the strip segment. And uh, as you can see, I have already one animation running. So first of all, how you create a simple animation or a simple scene where you use just one color. When you are creating scenes, you are creating a, a different kind. And uh, the one we will use now is the strip scene, which basically allows you to choose a different animation for every segment you have in workspace. So let's add strip scene and using the right click or this yellow icon, we can go to edit settings. And here in settings window, you can select the segment you want to create animation for and press add animation. And what you can see is this black strip where is nothing at the beginning, but use double click to add a new keyframe. This is basically a timeline, which I will explain later. And as you can see, I have here the keyframe selected and here are the properties of the keyframe. Again, you have a black strip here and when you double click, as you can see, I have a white color running on output. You can of course change this color using this button where you can select, for example, red or green or whatever color you want. You can mix even the color here. And you can see the directly the, the color directly on your output of the Reactivo. And basically that's how you create a simple scenes with just one color. And let's use more colors on my color palette. So let's again add strip scene with the right click. I can go to settings and here we can add animation. Again, I will add a one keyframe and with double click, I will add white color. What you can do is double click again and it will add, as you can see, another color and we can change its value. So let's change it to red. And as you can see, I have already nice shade from white to red. Of course, I can add more points to this color palette. So I can leave the red one in the middle and, and I can add a next one, the white one at the, big, at the end. And as, I, as you can see, I can add as many colors as I want on my color palette. Yeah, and that's how you create multiple color palettes on one LED segment. And how about animation? So again, let's add strip scene, go to settings. We know this everything, so we we'll add a new keyframe. We add multiple colors. Again, I like the red and white combination. And as you can see, this is the keyframe and we haven't talked about this strip. So this keyframe, when I move it to the beginning, it's actually the beginning of the animation. And what I can do, I can add a different keyframe here in the middle, for example. And there I can add a different colors. Let's make, I don't know, green and blue combination. See? And when we lower the size, when I move it to the end, as you can see, I have the animation with the shading from yellow, uh, from white and red combination to blue and green. Of course, you can set how long should it take in, in duration. So let's increase it to, I don't know, three seconds. And now, as you can see, I'm slowly changing from white and red to blue and green. Quite simple. Of course, as you can see, the animation flips at the, at the end or jumps to the beginning. It's because when the animation finish, it goes directly to the uh, beginning, which is red and white. So what you can do, you can move this, uh, this uh, second keyframe to the middle one and with the right click, you can copy and paste the same keyframe at the end. 
and now we should have smooth animation as you can see but there is even more powerful feature again we will create just quickly some let's change different colors i like yellow and blue combination what you can do again this keyframe we can move to the beginning i can copy it and paste and here are different properties and one of them is position and as you can see it's basically kind of a position of the palette on, on the strip segment and I have moved it to 100 and now when I play the animation as you can see the color palette is basically rotating on the on the LED segment yeah that's how you create animated I mean animated uh, color palettes but there is a quicker way again I will create another animation we will add I don't know uh, yellow and green is also nice yes and there is a quicker way you could again copy and paste the the, the keyframe to the beginning to the uh, from the beginning to the end but what you can do here is a quick step called create default animation and it will basically create the one keyframe at the beginning and at the end the same keyframe but with position set to zero ah, and it's animating already what people quite often ask me is how to create hard coloring effects meaning I will add a keyframe again this white color and the red color they don't have to smoothly change one to another what you can do you can move the white color let's say to the middle and the red color next to the, uh, the white one and as you can see there is no smooth transition from the white to yellow uh, to red but there is a jump and it looks also good of course you can animate it again and this is how you create basically Knight Rider effects we can actually create the Knight Rider one how we already know so I will add a red color I will add a black one uh, red color sorry black one yeah we can do the default animation but now it's moving only from one side to the other one what do we can do we can uh, set the time of the the position of the end keyframe to the middle one which is 50 we can copy and paste the the first segment see and i have night rider effect quite simple and let's show you how to use repeat what i mean by that so let's add a strip scene we will add a new animation and now i will make a combination of the red and blue color with a hard uh, hard transition what i can imagine you could use this color palette multiple times on the on one led segment and that's exactly what repeat does so what you can do you can increase how many times is the color palette applied actually on the led segment again you can animate it so we can create default animation and as, as you can see now multiple color palettes are moving on my color segment of course we can make it slower yeah quite nice and easy so that's how repeat works what you could ask me what in case you are using multiple segments so again i will create some simple animation here let's use the purple one usually what you need you need to copy the animation to the another, another segment so there are two ways how to do it you can use ctrl c when you are over with the mouse over the first segment you can select the second segment and use ctrl v or there is also a quicker way what you can do you can just drag drag 
the first segment and paste it uh, and drop it on the second segment. Yeah, that's how you copy. And the question you might ask is, what if I want to use, if I want to move the animation slightly in time? And of course you can do it. Here is time offset. So when you set it to 50%, as you can see, the animation on the, on the second segment is moved in time. In, first, in uh, about 50%. That's how you can create color offsets. We call them. This is how you create basic color effects. But you can use them to generate also video content, like the one behind me. And we'll talk about it next time.